All right, guys. So it's it's pretty windy out today, so I hope the audio is not too bad. Um, while I was fishing today, I realized that I've never done a post review after using um, some of the equipment that I do reviews on. So today we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, to start off with, um, here's the Cast King Stealth. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you know I've done a review, a before review on this one. And everything that I talked about in the review has pretty much come true. Uh, I have no problems casting, flipping, or anything like that. Uh, the all carbon fiber body, including handle, is super light. So it's basically become my flipping and pitching reel because I can flip and pitch all day without my hands getting tired from a, a big bulky heavy reel. Uh, the size of it is perfect. It, it fits perfectly in my hand as you can see. So it's it's not too small because I've got pretty big hands. It's not too small to where my hands covering the whole reel and kind of gets in the way. Uh, the 11 stainless steel ball bearings, once again, as said in my previous review, it's I'm as smooth as butter. I have no problems at all, especially on a windy day like today. As you can tell, the water has got a, a good bit of chop on it. Now, with that being said, Cast Kings come out with another reel that pretty much, if not tops, it's right at the same level as the Stealth. And this is the Cast King Assassin. It's a six three to one gear ratio, which is perfect. I use it for my uh, cranking reel. Um, I actually have a second one that I'll be using for flipping as well, because I'm just a flipping and pitching kind of guy. Uh, I spoke earlier about how light the Stealth was. Well, this one actually tops that. The Stealth is 5.9 ounces, and the Assassin's actually 5.7 ounces. Uh, once again, all carbon fiber body, handle, side plates, the works. It has the the click drag, which I'm a huge fan of. It's got the dual braking system, a little bit different. I'll show you. There's your magnetic brakes here. And you it's like you normally do. You turn it on the side plate, but the centrifugal braking is actually on the spool which makes it much easier all you do is you turn this set it to whatever you need and you're good to go put your side plate back on and get to fishing same amount of bearings as the stealth 11 plus 1 just a different gear ratio uh, which which is good you don't want to have all all kind of reels of the same gear ratio uh, it's a little smaller I would say than the stealth but not not small enough to wear it's uncomfortable for me once again I have big hands and this it's perfect so I've, I've fished today with it a little bit unfortunately the fish aren't biting on cranks so I didn't get to actually catch a fish with it but just as the stealth has it's got 16 and a half pounds of drag so basically this is the stealth reel a little smaller and a lot and a little bit lighter um, I'm, they're when it comes to the braking, that's different, but I absolutely love it. The The black with the blue accents is, is pretty sweet. I have no problems casting in the wind with it. Um, just as any other bait caster, you have to set your brakes correctly. You can't expect the reel to come out of the box and be able to do it all right then and there. So use your automatic brake. Use your, your uh, magnetic and your centrifugal, and I promise you, you won't have any problems. Some people say that they're having backlashing issues, but you have to make sure that you set your brakes correctly or else you'll have a pretty bad day. Okay, so here's something you may not see on my channel very often, and that is a spinning reel. Okay, I don't own many spinning reels. I believe um, you may need one or two in your boat when it, when it comes to finesse applications. 
But I'll tell you one thing, if I want a spinning reel in my boat, it's gonna be this one. Uh, this is the Cast King Kodiak. Um, it's an all aluminum body. It's an aluminum, it has an aluminum spool and an aluminum rotor, which will stop salt water and sand if you use it for that from getting in the inside and, and messing everything up. I fished a shaky head on it today. Uh, no issues whatsoever. It's, I mean, it's probably the smoothest spinning reel I've ever owned. If you hold it in your hand, you can tell this, this thing is solid, man. I don't know how else to explain it, but uh, just a great, a great spinning reel. And I mean, look at it. It's, Casking takes their time to not only make sure their, their products work well, but they look awesome, if you ask me. Uh, it's got the gold accents with the Casking logo there. The uh, ball joint handle, which is pretty cool. I've never had a spinning reel with that on it. The sweet foam handles. I mean, it's just an all-around great spinning reel. I'm definitely going to be using it more. Um, it's got the it's got 10 plus one stainless shielded ball bearings. It's a five five two to one gear ratio, which is a no normal for a spinning reel. It's got the anti-reverse switch here. Now, this is probably going to blow your mind when I tell you this. This thing has 39 pounds of drag okay 39 pounds so you hook into a good red fit you have no problem pulling that thing out of the water so make sure you guys check out cast king on amazon and e poseidon um, i'll leave the link in the video and below now i'm gonna go ahead and keep on trying to catch some fish Yeah.